operating Rock 890, the address 689 5th Avenue. Who's that? A 74 year old female came in the house, cardiac arrest. Firefighters were on the scene doing um, CPR. My partner and I took over. Um, BLS level of CPR and um, call for ALS. Firefighters assisted us. ALS came over, gave whatever drugs they needed to give. Right now, she's still in arrest. They're doing CPR in the back. My partner's driving the ALS vehicle. We have two paramedics in the back of our ambulance. And um, we're heading over to Kings County Hospital, nearest hospital from where we were. There is no other agency within the world that handles as many calls as we do. We're handling approximately a million and a half calls a year, which makes our rescuers professional experts in what their pre-hospital care is. There we go, buddy. Let's see eyes. So make sure you don't feel any pain, okay? Yeah. You let me know, pain? We do of our EMS training out here at Fort Totten in Bayside, Queens, and we do several programs. The first program we do is for people that have no medical training at all. We run a program that lasts 64 days, and that takes them from totally no medical training to the level of emergency medical technician. Every firefighter that comes in to the fire department is trained as a first responder, and their job is to get there as quickly as possible, stabilize what they can, and then together with the ambulance crews, make sure that they treat the patient correctly, work to get the patient out to the ambulance, and then the ambulance crews will take over and take them to the hospital. We're going to Hicks and Montague for an amputation. Priority three call. First thing we need to do is control the bleeding. Um, hopefully I won't see anything too serious, but probably have to take him into a nut trauma center also and um, put, the, put the part in plastic on ice and try to secure it if it's full amputation. My name is Joe Fortis. I am an instructor coordinator for the New York City Fire Department EMS Emergency Academy. And here at the academy, we learn to tweak their skills and modify the way they approach patient care um, to involve it into a realistic 911 setting. 126 over 76. Okay, we're agents with that. Okay, thanks. This is a, a mandatory skill that every EMT has to pass, um, and it's mobilize someone who you think has cervical spine injury using that longboard. Okay? We take them uh, as realistic life situations as we can enhance and put them in as real as we can make it possibilities of what they're going to encounter. The scenarios that we use are used uh, based in actual calls that EMTs have been on. His finger is completely amputated off. I'm gonna put it in this plastic, put the plastic on ice to preserve it, and we're gonna go to Bellevue. Do you have any problems? Yeah. Any allergies? No. Do you have any surgeries done? We're a 23 year old male, full amputation of the right index finger. Um, patient is stable at this time. Blood pressure is 126 over 82. The patient looked a little shocky. His blood pressure is stable. Looked a little pale. I don't know if it's because he saw his finger off of his body. So we put him in a shock position on the stretcher. Just, you know, to prepare in case his pressure drops. And, you know, at this point, you know, he's, he's pretty shocked that his finger's off. I guess I'd be also. basic classes that come in, people who have never been an EMT before, we come in, we give them the basic instructions, we show them how to perform the practical skills that they're going to need as the foundation as becoming an EMT. I'm Instructor Reyes, and today I will be demonstrating to you how to properly immobilize an isolated mid-shaft femur fracture. You're going to lay it down flat, like this. 
by using the patient's natural ankle void. You're gonna slide it under the ankle void and you're gonna wrap it around the ankle. Everybody see that? Any pain? No pain, right? No pain? Okay, ready. Couldn't find Kent. Little Grand Amel Plaza. A truck was backing up and hit a 74-year-old male, knocked him to the ground. Um, when we arrived there, the firefighters were there. They fully immobilized him. They put a collar in his neck, put a headbed and longboard. My partner, being the technician, got out and assessed the patient. I came out with the stretcher to back him up. Normally, he would take care of the patient as the tech. As a driver, I back him up with equipment, and we put him on the stretcher, brought him into the ambulance, and my partner took over from there. If anyone wanted to be a New York City EMT, the, the, what we see, the benefits that we see them is the, the close contact support, um, the real life situations, the coping skills, the communicating skills, the problem solving skills that they have, the ability to have a career and take them to the next level and they can learn skills to communicate that they can take with them on any path that they go on. The advanced rescue training that we do here with below grade rescue and, and rescue medics carry a, a, a camaraderie and a core value of saving a human life and the, the value of a human life and how you truly can't put a price tag on a human life. Everyone that comes through the academy comes out a better person, a more mature person, a person who's ready to take on the world. The reason that I, uh, I became an EMT or joined EMS was uh, to make a difference. I actually obtained this job just, you know, it, it's very rewarding and um, there's nothing else that I enjoy most than being able to help someone in my community. The reason I joined is a sense of accomplishment. Every day you go into work is another chance to save a life and at 22 years old there's probably nothing more profound or important. No day is the same and um, it's a maturing experience and uh, it's the closest thing to being a superhero. You just watch members of the world's greatest EMS organization at work. The fire departments, paramedics and EMTs Truly your lifesavers for thousands of New Yorkers. Each year, EMS responds to more than a million calls for help. And they answer those calls with a level of professionalism, commitment, and care that is unparalleled. If you want to become part of this proud group of medical professionals, act now. Visit us online or call 311 for more information. Thank you.